Welcome to the Expanse Web Resident ED Documentation Workflow video. This video will show the documentation workflow required of a resident working in the emergency department where they are now using Expanse Web. Step 1. Find and sign up for your patient on the tracker. Ensure that no other provider or resident has signed up for this patient yet and that the documentation status is still showing as no document. Click the Sign Up button and then click Sign Up at the top of the list. Your name will now appear in blue at the bottom of the Sign Up button. After signing up for your patient, you will be able to find your patient more easily on your My List tracker screen. Step 2. Add your preceptor as the primary provider for your patient. Select the Sign Up button again and select Edit Provider from the list. Use the search field at the top right of the overlay to filter the list to then select your provider to replace Nurse Nibdos. Then click Save in the top right corner of this overlay. You will now see your provider's name appear on the Sign Up button just above your name. This patient will now show up in their MyList screen as well, showing that they are the ERP for the patient you are working with. Step 3. Initiate your emergency department visit document. From the patient's tracker row, locate the document status link where it shows as No Document. This will launch you into PDOC for this patient, where you will then select the Emergency Department Visit Document from the Document list, or in this case from the resident's PDOC Favorites list. Step 4. Enter your information into the ED Note Web section of the document. Before you start to document, look to the far right of the screen to view the patient's name and identifiers to ensure you are documenting on the correct patient. If you are not, this is the time where you can still delete or cancel the document by clicking the gear and choosing the Delete or Cancel option. Place your cursor into the editing area of the document by clicking the mouse pointer near the bottom portion of the document. You will know you are editing when the Editor toolbar appears at the top of the Editing section. You will also see the End Document marker as you scroll downward toward the bottom of the Document Editing section. Where you see your cursor flashing is where the text or insertions will appear. Use tools like Canned Text or Formatted Data on the toolbar to insert information into your document. Type or dictate your information into your document. Clicking Save will save your document and close the chart, returning you to your last tracker view. To return to the document, simply click the document status link on the patient tracker row, which now shows as draft. Step 5. Select the discharge disposition from the discharge plan. Click the discharge plan heading, found just above the ED Note Web section of the document, or the Discharge Plan button just below the Document Editing section to find the Disposition selections. Notice the asterisk to the left of Disposition, indicating that this is a requirement. The asterisk goes away once you have made your selection. Step 6. Add your preceptor as a signer when you sign your document. While working in the ED as a resident, you will be required to add your preceptor as a signer of the Emergency Department Visit document. Select the Sign button at the top right of the document to bring up the Submit overlay. This step needs to be completed before you enter your sign PIN. Hesitate before putting in your PIN and ask yourself, have I set up my preceptor to be a signer of this document? To add your preceptor as a signer, select the Other button just below the signers section. You don't get a second chance to fix this, so make it a habit of always adding your preceptor as a signer of your documents in the ED. Search by last name without pressing the Enter button and select your preceptor from your search results. Now, if all other document requirements are satisfied and your preceptor is showing as a signer, you can then safely click the Sign button again in the top right of the Submit overlay and enter your PIN to complete the resident's portion of the documentation workflow. Step 7. Preceptor completes and signs their portion of the document. In Step 2, you added your preceptor as the emergency room provider.
being the most responsible provider for this patient. The document status link will show as I signed, meaning they have to review and complete additional requirements in the document before it is distributed and shown as signed in the patient's chart. The preceptor will also find and be able to edit their portion of the document from the sign queue and incomplete documents list. Before the preceptor can sign the document, they must complete the requirements shown as outstanding on the submit overlay, being the ED complexity and the final diagnosis. They can also make changes to the disposition instructions if necessary and add content of their own to their section of the document. After the preceptor has signed the document, it will be removed from their incomplete documents list and sign queue and show as signed in the document status link on the patient's tracker row and in the patient's chart. Thanks for watching.